Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel, the story for today is refugees flooded back into two under siege Ukrainian cities after a ceasefire aimed at allowing them to leave broke down within hours. Local authorities blamed Russian forces for breaking the truce aimed at setting up evacuation routes out of Mariupol, a strategic port in the southeast, and the eastern city of Volnovica. Some 200,000 civilians had been expected to start leaving Mariupol and 15,000 from Volnovica, on Saturday. Instead, footage posted to social media showed devastation and ruin as civilians fled or took cover. In right now in Mariupol, I'm on the street, I can hear shelling every three to five minutes, one resident told the BBC, adding that the evacuation corridor was not working. I can see cars of people who tried to flee and they are coming back. It is chaos. The city's mayor said thousands of children, women and the elderly came under fire as they arrived in the morning for evacuation. Images showed women screaming as flames rose from residential buildings, wounded soldiers being fitted with tourniquets and doctors working by the light of their mobile phones. The Russian side is not holding to the ceasefire and has continued firing on Mariupol itself and on its surrounding area, Kyrylo Tymoshenko, the deputy head of President Volodymyr Zelensky's office, said. Talks with the Russian Federation are ongoing regarding setting up a ceasefire and ensuring a safe humanitarian corridor. Russia breached the deal in Volnovica as well, Deputy Prime Minister Irina Verishchuk told reporters. We appeal to the Russian side to stop firing, she said, on the outskirts of the capital Kyiv, Ukrainian troops helped a crowd of civilians cross a destroyed bridge. They were attempting to reach the city center to be evacuated by train, as homes in the northern city of Chernihiv burned from what locals described as Russian shelling, one resident accused Europe of merely looking on. We wanted to join NATO and the EU and this is the price we are paying, and NATO cannot protect us, she said. In the town of Borodyanka in Ukraine's Kyiv region, Russian forces took control of a psychiatric hospital with 670 people inside, the regional governor Oleksiy Kuleba told local media on Saturday. Today we do not understand how to evacuate these people, how to help them, Mr. Kuleba said. They are running out of water and medicines, these are people with certain special needs, they need constant help, many of them have been bedridden for years. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.